you know, to me, it doesn't matter whether it's 40 or 60, you're gonna have a failure. And when you have a failure in this type of scenario, many times it's a death. Well, when we're talking about uh, construction, new construction, uh, in, in my opinion or our opinion, uh, most of the hazards or fall hazards are uh, exposed to an edge. Uh, or, uh, you're, you're falling over an edge. You're falling over the edge of a building or a beam or, or whatnot. And that's when you're subjecting your, your, your fall protection equipment to what we refer to as a leading edge and uh, uh, that can be over a building's edge, something to, to a deck like that. And this is an area that specific requirements are needed uh, and tested when it comes to ANSI uh, and, and whether the re retractables themselves are designed or capable of handling that. We utilize a retractable that's manufactured in Germany by a company called ICAR. Their retractables uh, have always met the European norm standards, which are very strict and stringent. Um, and in this case, their retractables, whether it's web or cable, are, are both approved for leading edge, sharp edge applications. The reason for a, a cable retractable, we have two specific potential reasons for that. One, someone doing what we refer to as hot work, someone working with a torch. Nylon has a tendency to melt and be damaged very quickly when it comes to, uh, to, to, to heat. Uh, that, and, and that type of a scenario, a cable retractable would hold up uh, uh, much better. Uh, we also get into situations where we have very long spanses. Uh, we've got retractables that run up to 210 feet. Um, in a cable version, that you have a tendency to operate reeling and unreeling much better uh, in a cable version than they than they do in a web version. So uh, we uh, that that's the other that's why you'll see if you're looking at a retractable that's you know 40, 50, 60 feet long, it's only going to be available in a cable version. It's more along the lines of of, of whether the retractables. Uh, the operation of the retractables are allowed to be used uh, in, in the applications that we're talking about, specifically leading edge. There's a lot of manufacturers that have retractables on the market that will state in their instructions, do not use that or exposed to a leading edge. Uh, and that's where we feel that, that it's very important for users uh, to, to take a look at their instruction manuals. Uh, that's where, that's where it'll, it'll state it. What a retractable is, is it's basically a seatbelt mechanism. It's, it's designed to be able to, to extend and retract uh, as you're working. When you fall, it engages. There's a set of paws or claws inside there and they grab the inside of the housing exactly the same way that a, that a seatbelt mechanism works on a car. What makes it different from the seatbelt mechanism in the car is that it also has what we refer to as an internal brake mechanism. So when I engage this retractable, I'm engaging that brake mechanism. I can't do it right now because it's gonna take about three or 400 pounds of force, but this will then additionally deploy. Uh, uh, uh. The brake mechanism is very similar to that of a fishing reel. It's a disc brake uh, uh, made out of the same thing as, 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 as brakes on your car. Um, so it's going to deploy, and that's where we get our deceleration in that force. So as long as I decelerate uh, enough correctly and in the right manner, I'm dissipating that force over that leading edge. So whether it's cable or web, as long as I keep that force down, I'm going to perform correctly. Unfortunately, there's a lot of retractables on the market that uh, have eliminated the internal brake mechanism and they just are a, a glorified uh, seatbelt mechanism. And when that happens, uh, folks like the people at Mozilla will tell you that you take you know, 6,000 pound braking strength web or cable and take it over a leading edge, you're gonna reduce that braking strength from anywhere from 40 to 60%. 
And I don't, you know, to me, it doesn't matter whether it's 40 or 60, you're going to have a failure. And when you have a failure in this type of scenario, many times it's a death. In this case, with, with ICAR, both of their retractables are rated and, and designed and perform uh, equally in this case. If we were to push this to the limit, uh, the folks at ICAR tell me that actually the web retractable is actually stronger than steel in this type of an, in this type of an application. So, uh, oddly enough, we get that a lot, you know, out there in the workplace today. People look at, uh, at webbing uh, versus, you know, the steel cable and just don't feel that there could be any comparison that the steel is actually going to hold up better than, than the webbing. But in today's day and age, with the materials like Kevlar and Dyneema and, and, and Kodura nylon and whatnot, uh, this stuff's just stronger than steel.